Some new data tonight showing that COVID-19 hospitalizations in Dallas-Fort Worth have increased now by 9%. That's over the last two weeks. But that new data from UT Southwestern Medical Center also contains some pretty encouraging news we want to share about what the next few weeks are expected to bring. Here's our J.D. Miles. Like a lot of North Texas doctors, Al Johnson has been seeing a lot more patients than usual with COVID-19. I've seen a jump in my practice but that's just been in the last couple of weeks with this spike that everybody has seen. But the spike could be leveling off, according to new statistics compiled by UT Southwestern Medical Center. It even forecasts COVID hospitalizations taking a steep dive in October if the public continues mask wearing and social distancing. We've now plateaued and hopefully are going to start going down. I think if we all wear masks, get vaccinated, physical distance, we're going to do our very best to tamp down this Delta variant and prevent a flu season. The reason doctors say COVID cases may be peaking is the combination of more people getting vaccinated as well as more people developing antibodies from contracting the virus. And so we're in that last little group now that are the unvaccinated, the pediatric group, and those are the ones that are, are getting sick. Dr. Johnson says the continued surge in the number of children catching the virus is worrisome, and crowded classrooms will only make it worse. And so it's expected that they will get uh, COVID infections. And doctors expect vaccinations to be approved for kids as young as five sometime next month to address the rise in pediatric cases. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.